Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Sorry y'all if the, the uh, what is it called, the volume is not the same. I'm using a different camera, okay? But anyways, <clears throat> thank you for joining me for March Madness. I am here with a dream. In this dream, I was um, at my mother's house with my son, okay? And while I'm there, my son was not in the room with me. He was in the room with her. And um, I wanted to go in there and take care of him. But for whatever reason, I wasn't able to. And um, instead of getting upset, instead of getting frustrated, instead of trying to start a big uh, battle behind it, I decided to go into my room and do my nails. Okay, which I literally need to do right now. But anyways... <laughs> That's what I decided to do. <clears throat> After I decided to do this, um, oh Lord, okay, show what's going. Okay, so after I decided to do this, my son actually decided to come in the room with me and um, lay down with me and start to hang out with me on his own. The scripture comes from Song of Songs. And six, where has your lover gone, O most beautiful among women? Where has your lover gone that we may seek him with you? My lover has come down to his garden, to the beds of spice, to browse in the garden, and to gather lilies. My lover belongs to me, and I to him. He browses among the lilies. Oh, okay, so I feel like that's so sweet. This could be a message for someone. Uh, you are not able to spend as much time with your children as possible, regardless if your children are still very young or if your children are adults and you miss them. You know, um, I just feel like the love that a mom has for her babies is so like divine. It's so it's like it's a unspoken type of love. Um, a real mom. OK. And I just feel like. Um, this is this is someone you are a mother with no complications you love your child without a doubt you would do anything for your child and you may feel right now that there is someone um keeping you or hindering you from seeing your child and i can understand because i think um last week or a couple weeks ago my son had an event at school and I was so upset, even though like I didn't show it because I have made a promise to myself that I will not allow anything to stress me out, to make me upset, to make me angry. But I was very upset that I did not know anything. I was very upset that there was no provision. No one even bothered to say, do you want to go? It really hurt my feelings. <clears throat> Because as you guys know, I don't have a car. I have a scooter. I don't even have a way to get out there. And it just really felt very unfair to me. It, it felt very hurtful to me, you know. Um, and like when it comes to my son, the agreement was that if anything like that came about, like if it's a situation where he has some kind of um, award ceremony or if he's in a play or if he's in anything like that, that I would be able to go, you know? Um, and I understand that, you know, things have changed. Like I'm married, his dad's married, and that can cause, you know, like that adds a lot into it. But at the same time, it's not like we're trying to do anything. You know what I'm saying? And I can even understand where like his wife may feel some kind of way because I, I, Honestly, I don't want my husband to be around his ex. Like, I don't. But and it's not even in a mean way. It's not that I don't like her. It's not that I have beef with her. It's just that I feel more comfortable with my husband not being around his ex. Like, boy. Okay? And it's like, I understand. But, you know, um, it's a situation where there is a baby involved. There's a person involved. There's a child involved. And I remember being a child. And my parents did not get along. <clears throat> and um, I was very hurt by my father not being able to make it to my dance recitals. I may have danced in thousands of recitals and my dad only made it to two. And it is very hurtful. And it's not that he didn't enjoy it because he told me that he enjoyed being able to see me dance. He enjoyed being able to dance with me um, my last time on the field. 
um, as a dancer, we, we did a father daughter dance for our last dance and um, a special tribute to all the seniors and it was beautiful. It was very emotional for me that um, my father came, you know, and um, I just feel like for whomever this is for, like, I just feel like God is saying that he sees, he sees, he sees, he sees, he sees, and it is not fair to you. But the thing that gets me is it is more hurtful to the child than it is to the parent. The child is the one that will carry that pain. And the, the child will carry that pain into adulthood. And while it can be very frustrating, um, it can be very... I, like it can cause a lot of tension, you know, in relationships when there's a situation where there are stepchildren and there are step parents. But it is very unfair to the child for their childhood to be affected by the adults and their nonsense, okay, to be honest, and their feelings and their emotions. And, um, yeah, I just feel like God is saying that don't you stress yourself out don't you worry yourself don't you make yourself um frustrated about this like whatever it is like god is saying don't worry don't worry don't worry um even now i'm a little stressed out my son my baby is his sinuses is acting up i gotta scrapbook some money together to go and get my baby some medicine um it's, it's it's very frustrating but you know at the same time i just feel like god is saying do not worry 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 okay Y'all already know. Um, for those of y'all like, girl, it's just, I, I, girl, I, I would really, I don't make money like that. Okay, I don't make money like that. I am physically incapable of having an actual job, and this is all that your girl got. I don't make money like that. I don't have money like that. And you know, it's just, um, it's just simple stuff. You know, it, it, if it was the other way around, if he was sick and I was dropping him off, I would ensure that he had medicine. I would ensure certain things were okay, and um. It's just very frustrating um, for me as a mom because I just, I have been through it. I know what it feels like to have, um, even though me and his father are not at odds, but my parents were at odds. My parents literally did not get along. It was very stressful for me as a child. It was very stressful for me to grow up having to deal with um, my parents' drama and not really understanding why they just could not get along. And... Um, in reality, it wasn't my business. In reality, I shouldn't have even been thinking about that. That shouldn't have even been in the back of my mind. But children handle things differently. They process things differently. And I just like, and I feel like that is the main thing that God is saying that it is all about the baby. It is not even about the adults. I like in the dream, I went and laid on the bed and started doing my nails and I was fine. I it was okay. I was okay. But the child himself came and wanted to hang out with me. The child himself wanted to be around me, you know, um, the child, like, and that, that's how children are. You know, I love both of my parents equally. I love them to bits and pieces. And it, like I said, my mom came to every single recital. She worked very hard for me to be able to, um, do the things that I have done as a child, as a teenager, as far as dancing and competition. And I danced at a Rockets game. I danced at a big football game in San Antonio. Like we did so many things. I, I did a pageant. I did all kinds of things. And I love that my mom put forth so much effort to ensure that I was able to do those things. But it also hurts that my father was not there. And I just feel like God is saying, you know, if you are the parent that is doing this, you're keeping another parent from being able to see their children. You are not hurting them. You are hurting that child. And that child is going to grow up with pain because they were not able to see their parent. They were not able to spend time with their parent and that parent was not able to be there for them. And if you are um, the parent that you want to see your child, you want to spend time with your child, but you are not able to, God is saying that child is going to come around. They will eventually come around and they're going to eventually, like regardless to what anybody wants to happen, they will grow up. That's all they're going to do. They're going to grow up. They are going to live life and they are going to figure it out. And when they figure it out, that is just going to be worse. You know, it'll be worse and it's just going to be worse and it's just going to be worse. God is saying that this is just something that should be settled now. This is a matter that should be settled now. It is not fair to the children. Um, 
get your feelings out of it. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for March Madness, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces.